West where they had Indians and made movies. But recently we heard about a fellow in my old hometown named Ron Duncan who uses a bow and arrow in one of the most daring demonstrations of self-defense we've ever seen. So we sent our full secret camera crew to put it on film for you. Because Ron has two professions, karate instruction and private investigation, he may never find himself in a position to dodge arrows, but he could find a gun in his back. Normally in these exercises, I prefer to use live ammunition. Of course, if I don't have quick enough with live ammunition, I will die. Or at least the same fear of entry. Even with the blank ammunition which we're using, if I can have moved quickly enough, find it and injury and part burn can occur and possibly help the truck in a vital organ. In a position like this, Ron has to move faster than an attacker could pull the trigger. Ron's movements are so quick, the only way to see what he's doing is with the aid of slow motion photography. If an individual intends to shoot, I do not feel that he's going to come within distance where you can reach out and touch him, much less the department. But I do feel strongly that if a man comes close enough for the gun, then he deserves to be disarmed. Ron can apply the same lightning quickness to resist just about any attack, as long as his opponent is within his reach. Knife is one of the most dangerous and deadliest of weapons in close combat. The true test of today's modern practitioner is to be able to at least defend against a knife when situations are right. If one should do this, of course one should run. Shaku is a weapon which has origins in Okinawa, primarily a farmer's implement for the purpose of pounded rice and other grains. During a certain period of time in history of Japan and Okinawa, the Okinawans were invaded, and according to history, they were disarmed of all in instruments of combat. For the means of survival, they developed a form of fighting based on the uh, different farmers' instruments. This particular defense has to do with the figure eight method, whereas it sets up the screen, a defensive, a protective barrier for the individual who is wielding this weapon. So therefore, it's, it's difficult to penetrate this barrier. So the principle applied against the figure eight is timing. Use the second side and at the same time avoiding being struck by penetrating the uh, defensive barrier. In the event that you do not uh, execute this technique properly, you may end up with a broken bone or possibly death. Clifford Moody has been with me for approximately three and a half years. Mr. Moody is the first to greet myself. Ed Marone is my assistant has been trained with me for the past nine years. Mr. Moroni is a Sandan. When we conduct our training sessions, we do not prearrange techniques. We feel that this is the true spirit of uh, what the samurai intended to teach philosophy to be. So therefore, what we are doing is the uh, the slightest, the slightest, the and the course that. <laughs> I've been teaching martial arts in the uh, Western area for the past uh, 14 years. I have uh, studied Judo, which is the uh, Kempo, Aikido, Aiko, and uh, the most of weapons, uh, Japanese weapons, as well as the art of the Kobujutsu. I like to think of myself as a classical practitioner of the Japanese form. I concentrate primarily on the art of the training.
We used a, a bow with an estimated throw of 45 pounds today. We were working from a distance of approximately 35 to 40 feet. And the type arrows used were of the hunting variety. So therefore, when the calculate, you wind up in pretty bad shape for a bad injury. This is a mean of developing the practitioners in depth perception and also vision reflexes and also as a good uh, measure of courage. Since courage is the essence of the martial art, without courage, it doesn't matter how much a row off from the one trained, it wouldn't mean very much. You've been watching this demonstration in slow motion. Now take a look at it in normal speed from Martin's point of view. Martial arts needs a way of life. It has tremendous value. The value has been beneficial to myself as an individual over the years due to the spiritual aspect and the high level of mental development. I don't know how fast those hours were traveling, but they were moving fast enough to lose ground a couple of times. Ron Duncan, martial artist, drill speaker. <laughs>